With us today, Morgan Klein, National President of the Zionist Organization of America, and also Newsmax contributor Walid Faris, who is the author of Iran, an Imperialist Republic and U.S. Policy. Gentlemen, it is great to have you both with us. Uh, I'll start with you first, uh, Walid. I know you've tweeted a lot about some of the placement of uh, certain missiles that have been moved. Uh, you believe that Hamas has just done step one of what could be a much larger scale attack. Please set the stage for us here. Absolutely. Iran and Hamas and Hezbollah and the militias, Iranian militias in Iraq, that's a coalition of forces targeting, obviously, Israel. They have already moved missiles. They have already moved drones. They have already trained fighters. And we, we saw those new paragliders uh, coming into Israel. So that the, the preparation was done. The money was spent from previous uh, income to, to Iran, not from the $6 billion necessarily. But Iran is now in command of Hamas. It is an Iran war through Hamas. And the same thing could be said about Hezbollah. As you just mentioned, there is now a concern, Israeli concern, that Hezbollah will open the northern front after Hamas has opened the southern front. Mort, we just heard Hamas is threatening to kill hostages for every missile strike that goes into <laughs> Israel. Uh, when you hear that, when you know there's 100 innocent Israelis uh, in, in Gaza now being used as human shields, it's a difficult situation as Netanyahu also goes into Gaza and, and defends and tries to take out this terrorist group. <laughs> this is the most barbaric attack on Jews since the Holocaust. They've, these Iranian monsters, uh, these Hamas monsters have gone door to door, breaking into homes, murdering entire families, killing babies, raping uh, innocent women, uh, slitting people's throats. It's just shocking. And let me tell you something. Hamas and Iran leaders today said uh, they were inspired by all the protests against the Israeli government in Israel. And the United States of America helped fund, yes, the State Department helped fund the internal protests in Israel against judicial reform. Hamas and Iran says that helped inspire them, not to mention the $6 billion uh, that Biden gave uh, Iran a, a week ago, including $3 billion more from Iraqi banks. And they have ignored sanctions. Under Trump, we had enormous sanctions to bankrupt Iran. They were on their knees. And Biden has ignored sanctions, allowing them to sell oil all over the world again. Uh, yes. uh, and their oil profits dropped 35 percent. Uh, I place the blame on, on this in some, to some extent in the actions of the Biden administration, uh, uh, I must say. And, you know, it's quite shocking that even Arab countries that are, have relations with Israel, UAE, uh, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, have publicly blamed Israel for these vicious Hamas Arab Muslim attacks. Yes, it's very disconcerting. And the media is some American media shockingly also has made some headlines that are just uh, incredibly, uh, incredibly insulting and and wrong, flat out wrong. Walid, I have 20 seconds here. This started with Obama. They have appeased Iran. And this is the, this is what is happening as a result, clearly. Absolutely. This is the result of the Obama-Iran deal, even before the Iran deal, when former President Obama sent a letter of appeasement to Grand Ayatollah. Uh, who was ruling Iran, continued to rule Iran in 2009. We all remember there was a demonstration, there was a revolution by the Iranian people on the ground, and our former president sent a letter of engagement to the leader of uh, all these terrorist organizations, one of which is attacking Israel today. Walid Fares and Morton Klein, gentlemen, I appreciate you both uh, coming live with us on this developing story at this hour, our prayers for Israel, and uh, thank you both for your analysis today. Thank, Thank you. you.